We just got news of the unfortunate uh, passing of Scott Hall today. And um, we love Scott Hall and what a career this man had. And um, this is this is not a joke, man. This is real life. I'm just I'm showing you this action figure because it's the only, the only way I can think of to, you know, pay homage. Um, man had a cr really, really uh, exceptional career. When you look at what he's done, he was in AWA tag teaming with Kurt Henning. Um, he had one of the best physiques in, in all of wrestling at that time. I saw his first matchup in the WWF, now WWE. Um, I remember his whole run there. And then, you know, he, he won four intercontinental titles there. And then he jumped ship to WCW in the most infamous jumping of ships that we've ever seen in pro wrestling starting the NWO with Hollywood Hogan and Kevin Nash changing the world of professional wrestling and the NWO was uh, you know it was like a gang and um, man those times were so precious just watching you know the unfolding of the NWO and WCW, and WWF at that time, and ECW, and, um, you know, nobody did it like Scott Hall, man. I mean, he's, he's had his issues, and, and he's had his his foes, and, um, yeah, I, I just, I don't even know what to say right now besides just that, you know, this was, this was a real talent, man. This was a guy who came up with the Sting uh, Crow gimmick. This is a guy who helped revolutionize wrestling with the NWO and some of the creative ideas with that. And, um, you know, I mean, think about it, man. This was a guy that walked into Vince McMahon's office and said, in a Scarface voice, you know, I'm the bad guy. You know, and Vince was like, yeah, yeah, you're hired, bro. <laughs> so, um, you know, I... I, I'm, I'm I'm interested actually to hear, you know, what kind of legacy Scott Hall leaves behind, in the sense of I mean this, he had a Keith Richards like run, where you know. You know I, I mean I I I don't want to say it like this because I don't want to you know sound bad or anything like that but like, Scott Hall had nine lives, so it, it, it's. I, we got to hear some of these crazy party stories, some of these rock and roll stories. You know, I know people don't like to talk about that kind of stuff now with the rise of AA, but like we got to hear some shit, man. Scott Hall was a legend, and um, I don't know, man. I don't know what to say about this, man. I really don't. I really don't know what to say or think, but I just I, I wish Scott the best in his transition into whatever comes for him. Or wherever he goes, but I got a feeling that you know this is somebody that's been around the wrestling business a long time, man. I, I still feel, I still feel the spirits with Rick Rude and guys like that, guys who you know have always been around this wrestling stuff. So uh, I, I'm really interested to just sit back for a little while, man. And um, if I had a bell, I'd ring it ten times right now for Scott. So we're just gonna do it, however we do it, man.